So how did you but how did you land like the specific role of uh, Jerry on the show? Oh, of Jerry. Jerry, so I did a show. I did a show called uh, uh, Halt and Catch Fire, which was also oh, yeah. on AMC for, um, for like three years. I think that helped a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I done. I, I uh, Scott Gimple had told me I'd done an. Uh, there was an audition. I think I read for Walking Dead twice before. Oh. Okay. And I will say there were two characters that I didn't really want to um, read for. Like I, I mean, like I did it. I was like, all right, these these people look like jerks. And but then when I get this guy named Lester. I was like, all right, this is weird. This is a, this is different. Um, I'm like, this is The Walking Dead, and, uh, and so I sent in three or four different versions of of the character of Lester, and I got the part. But when I do the table read, I do it the same way I did in the audition, which, by the way, I didn't like. Mm-hmm. I didn't like how I got. I didn't like the the versions I did. I didn't want to play it that way. Yeah. Um, but I didn't, and then Scott was able to kind of like. He, I think, I think he could tell because we had this Skype chat, and then um, he talked to me about the character, and he was like, you know, the things that uh, uh, the, the the big reason of why I cast you was was because of the of your slate. When you smile, it makes me happy. And when you're not <laughs> smiling, I'm a little scared. So maybe we could play that up. Let's try that, and and that let me. And once he said that, that let me just. I'm like, all right, now, now fun can be had, you know? And, yeah. and because the, and, the, and my advice to a lot of actors who, who think about certain stuff, you know, I like, I have no idea how long I'll be on the walking dead. I have no idea. But the, but the thing is though, is that, um, I had to be ready to play a character that I'd be happy to play for the next, you know, how many every years, mm-hmm. you know, if I didn't like this character, if I don't like playing this character, that would have sucked so much for me. Um, because it would have just been a, uh, it would just be work, you know. And 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 for me, acting is not supposed to be work, you know. We, I mean, it's you know, it's how we make money, it's our job. But like, you know, we could have done, you know, there's other things we could do. But you know, I love being to just express and 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 get to kind of let myself loose in a, a little bit of way. And Jerry's such a great way to do it. And and so between. Me, Scott, and, and Greg Nicotero, I feel like Jer- that's how Jerry's uh, Jerry kind of came to be was between the the, the three of us. Uh, so I always appreciate it. I always appreciate that because it's you know it's a you know I love Jerry. He's just an awesome guy. <laughs> he is. Uh, do you think you'd be that positive in an apocalypse? No, I mean I'd be I'd definitely be. I would. I'd always be optimistic. Trust me, but it, it, it's. I couldn't I couldn't genuinely give that kind of comfort in those kind of circumstances. Trust me, I can give really great comforting things. But I mean, Jerry, I'm like, dude, really I mean, we're <laughs> it's like they're they're we're we're surrounded. I mean, just being in the cave, I mean like that was even for him, you know, it was like just move forward, just think about kids, we're gonna do this. And there's little moments that I was just like I don't know. I'd be yelling at a few people at this point. 